Hello! So today I'm going to be taking apart this TTL Prism Finder for the Kiev 6C or Kiev 60. When I got it, it was in pretty bad shape. All the leather it was coming off still is pretty much coming off. Um, the prism itself was not flush with this metal piece. It was kicked back a little bit, um, which made it out of alignment with this eye cup, the viewfinder here. Um, so it was almost impossible to focus. Um, and also, it wasn't able to lock on to these two pins that it's supposed to lock on to. So, I'll be showing you how to disassemble it, put it back together, um, and make this set properly, and make these lock in to the pins on the top of your Kiev. So what you'll need to do that is some foam, any kind of foam, it doesn't need to be this thick, it can be thinner. Um, I cut a piece smaller, um, an X-Acto knife, some plyo bond, you can get this at any hardware store or on the internet, um, and this foam is self, it has its own adhesive on it, so it's self-sticking. Um, and you don't necessarily need to stick it to the base of the prism, but you can. Um, you'll need tweezers, just in case, to pick up screws. One of these little tooth tools, I don't really know if you necessarily need it, but it comes in handy for lifting and poking things around. Some JIS screwdrivers, um, they come in handy, they fit most things, you can get these on the internet. Uh, little baby ear uh, cleaning, ear infection cleaning thing. Um, just squeeze and get some excess dust off. Isopropyl alcohol, 70 to or 91 percent, and some Q-tips. And things that you're gonna be getting rid of in your prism to make it function better. Also, you can do this however you want. Um, you can leave these in or not. Loads of washers. Tons and tons of them. They just will be in there, um, either loose from not sticking anymore, uh, and you'll see where they go. And I actually learned something in this video. Um, so, if you take these out, your TTL Prism Finder will be able to lock into your Kiev way better, which I did not know. Um, so, I had already set the prism once before flush so I could focus better, um, but I took it all apart, did it again, um, added some more foam just to show and also to make sure it was staying, because um, the other foam had kind of flattened a little bit, uh, it was cheap foam, uh, and then found out that if I took these off, there's a little piece This edge right here, the serial number on it that you screw in with four screws, um, wasn't sitting flush. And I had spent a long time in the past uh, trying to get it to sit flush, and I thought by putting these washers in different levels it had worked, but then it wasn't locking into the Kiev. So this time around, trying to make a video about just how to set the prism flush, I realized these washers are not necessary at all. Um, and they actually make its job a lot harder. So hopefully you enjoy the video, and hopefully it's helpful. Thanks for watching.